Good morning everybody and welcome back to the Vegan Runner and welcome back to not Devon but sunny Mallorca. We've got a bit of an adventure lined up this morning. We've climbed up, we've just driven up from Alcudia, uh, what's that, in the east of the island up to the mountain range sort of that runs across the, the center of the, of the island and we're heading up to Puig Major which is just up there, the highest mountain on Mallorca. We're going to take in this reservoir. Uh, first of all, just do a loop of that to warm up, and then it'll be climbing, climbing, climbing for a fair old way. Rachel's <laughs> looking forward to it. This will be what your fourth half marathon, something like that. Yeah. So we're going out for half marathon distance, almost half of it going up, <laughs> up, 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 very, very steep. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, should be good fun coming down. So stick along for the ride. I'll give you some updates on what's been going on. I know the, the channel's been quite quiet uh, recently. Just had a little bit of a break, but I'll uh, catch up with you in a bit. But for now, just sit back and enjoy the, the scenery. Just a little climb up a mountain. Easy. You heard it. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> okay, that's a warm up loop of the lake down about two miles. Now the fun begins to start climbing Puig Major, tallest mountain on Mallorca. Sorry if I'm butchering the pronunciation of Puig. Puig. So we've done about 300 feet of elevation, and about three, three and a half miles in. And then we've got about 2,200 left to go. We haven't had any serious climbing yet, but we're on a nice trail. Steadily climbing, but you can see the mountain in the, in the background, and it just likes looks so steep so I reckon we'll have some big climbs coming you need a lot more rest. right as we're climbing up just give you a quick update on the channel so it's been a little while since I made a video um, just needed a bit of a, a rest really actually also started a new job and kind of running around that job and sort of sorting out a timetable and things and it just seemed like after the ultra a natural time to take a little bit of a break from filming but also a little bit of a break from running too uh, part of that was enforced, uh, I think a couple of weeks before my ultra. Um, 
after the run, or well, after a run, I found a little bite on my leg. And a couple of days later, I had this big old kind of rash on it. But it was too close to my ultras to kind of worry about it. So kind of ignored it. And then after finishing my ultra, a couple of weeks after finishing, so about a month on, I had this horrible back pain, which stopped me from running, which is really, really tight. And I reckon it was Lyme, Lyme disease. So I think I got bitten by a tick and it did that kind of bullseye rash thing, which is indicative of, of Lyme disease. And one of the symptoms is that it can cause uh, swelling and stuff and lower back pain. So, got to the doctor, got the uh, doxycycline, was on that for a month or so, three weeks I think it was. And then gradually, kind of been returning to running. Went to see a physio, he kind of said, yeah, my hamstrings were extremely tight, so I've been working on loosening those up and then gradually getting back into the weekly mileage and running again. So back up and running now, feel good at the moment, which is awesome because I've always wanted to come away on holiday and run. It's taken a little bit of persuasion to get Rachel sort of on board with that idea. But shout out to Dan Map, Map Massage in Biddeford. Really good um, sports masseur and really knows the stuff and a brilliant runner too. But um, yeah, he sort of said we were looking for places to go on holiday. He said, oh, you should go to, you go to New York and check it out. It's really good for running. So, I mentioned it to Rich. Took a little bit of convincing, but really proud of her now. Pried her away from the swimming pool on the beach. And we're up climbing this huge mountain with these amazing views. Look at that. sort of switch back back along the mountain up like zigzagging up you can see all the roads that you've just run up pretty steep sort of eye level with some mountains there in the background Smells, smells are amazing too. Occasionally, there's like a, a rosemary bush just on the side of the road. And, you know, like when you brush your hand on rosemary, you can smell it, but here you can just smell it in the air. There it is, getting closer. Slight change of plan. We're now heading back down. We've just been told that it's a military zone we're running in, and uh, it's not possible to go up to the top of the mountain for some reason. Never mind. We managed about 13, 1400 feet of climbing. 
and it's really really beautiful from from up here so worth the trip but maybe worth doing a bit more research before we run up places. Do quite a lot. Yeah there was a, a website we went on that said you could run up here but obviously not never mind I'm gonna mess with the military <laughs> A nice, nice run down. Okay, slight change of plan. We've ducked off the military road and we found a, a little trail. We're going to try and climb up a mountain <laughs> that's next to the biggest one. So I promise some, some good views anyway. And it's even nicer now. We're on some proper trail too instead of the mountain road. But there you go. It was nice coming down that road though, can I say? Proper trail running now. turn into a bit of an adventure, scramble up a mountainside, sort of more of a hike slash rock climb now. But I tell you what, these speed goats are living up to their name, they're sticking to these rocks. Speed. Yeah, maybe not the speed, but they're sticking to these rocks like a goat. I think the uh, the local mountain goats are impressed or laughing at us, I don't know. Hands rich. So, yeah, that was the mountain we tried to climb up. We got to about there ish, kind of like the final couple of. Climbs. We're actually going to go up to the one on up there on the left to start off with and then run along the ridge. It's turned into a mountain crawl now. Going up is a lot easier than going down. We're having lots of fun. <laughs> oh my so, the last sort of. What? What? Used to scratch it. Yeah, right, yeah. We might have gone through some long-ish grass. Both of our legs are pretty cut up. My <laughs> hands from the rocks. Don't even in a fight with a mountain lion. <laughs> That's what it was. It was a mountain lion. Huge. We fought it off. Definitely wasn't grass. Um, we're close to the car. Woo <laughs> For the last sort of 20 minutes, we've been scaling the side of a mountain. Rachel's loving it. Loving life. Not not one word of complaint. We made it. <laughs> Back to civilization again. On a road. And able to run, which was brilliant after about an hour of rock climbing. That was good. Good adventure. If you follow me on Strava, don't download that route to your watch <laughs> for when you're ready to come over to Mallorca. <laughs> That's a first for me, getting told off by <laughs> the military. And uh, yeah, but a cool climb up to the top. Going up is so much easier than coming back down. But there you go. Nearly back to the lake and to our car, a little bit. A little bit shorter than we had planned. I think we're on about, oh, there you go, nine miles just beeped. It's so strange having cars coming behind you on the right hand side. Even stranger driving on the right hand side. We made it. We got back down. We we're just doing a victory lap of the, the lake here. It's Cuba. 
again, sorry for the pronunciation. It's just so pretty and it was so nice to get running again. But, uh, we decided we'll do a couple of miles victory lap, get it up to 10, 11 miles or so, and then time for a spot of lunch. So we made it to the top of a mountain. We're trying to find some kind of path the whole way, but sometimes we'd be on it and then it would just turn into rocks and razor sharp grass and stuff. So it's really hard to find a, find your way along the path. Not much of a trail run, still an adventure, still worth coming out here. Right, I think I'm going to sign off there. We've nearly done our victory lap of the lake. But uh, it's not the end of running in Mallorca. We've got another route planned. Hopefully one that doesn't take us onto military land. But we're heading over the mountain range, over to Soya, and then running along some of the coasts there. Look out for that video becoming soon. Thanks for watching, and until the next one, be the best you.